Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to read about chapter number twenty, our culture and heritage. So, children, our country, India, you know, it's a beautiful country, and India is known all over the world for its rich history and culture. Okay. So, at first, I just want to explain about what is heritage. Ah. Uh, it refers to things and traditions which are passed down through the years to the one generation to the next that is heritage means something that one believes think or does that comes from one's family to ethnic background so that is called heritage and india's a rich culture unique culture has been developed by our languages music paintings and uh, dances etc so in this chapter we will read all about okay so let's start reading chapter number 20 from page number 129 uh so children at first i'll tell you about the culture culture kya hota hai what is culture इट्स अ सोशल बिहेवियर एक पर्टिकुलर सोसाइटी का जो सोशल बिहेवियर है दैट इज कॉल्ड कल्चर इट कैन बी डिफाइंड एज ऑल वेज ऑफ लाइफ इंक्लूडिंग आर्ट बिलीव इट्स अ वे ऑफ लाइफ फॉर एन एंटायर सोसाइटी दैट इज कल्चर एंड वाट इज द मीन ऑफ हेरिटेज हेरिटेज होते हैं जो ट्रेडिशन होते हैं ना या बिलीव होते हैं विच वी लर्न फ्रॉम आर पेरेंट्स और ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स okay the traditions or beliefs which we learn from our parents or grandparents so it's clear we live in a society we need a language to communicate we can convey our thoughts by speech or by writing with the help of a common language okay children so in this chapter uh i'll tell you about the rich and unique culture of our country uh, that has been developed by our languages dances music paintings architecture etc okay these elements means uh, as i told you languages dance music paintings these elements show unity in diversity of our art and culture so at first languages different languages are spoken in different parts of our country और हमारे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया ने कितनी लैंग्वेजेस को रिकॉग्नाइज किया है ट्वेंटी टू लैंग्वेजेस दीज आर आसमी बांग्ला वोदो डोगरी गुजराती हिंदी कन्नड़ कश्मीरी कोंकानी मैथिली मलयालम मणिपुर मराठी नेपाली उड़िया पंजाबी संस्कृत संथाली सिंधी तमिल तेलुगु एंड उर्दू एंड हिंदी इज द ऑफिशियल लैंग्वेज ऑफ इंडिया इंग्लिश एंड इंग्लिश इज एन एडिशनल लैंग्वेज ऑफ फॉर ऑफिशियल पर्पजेस so clear so all the languages have their own scripts so what is the mean of scripts underline this word script a style of writing a language that is the mean of script okay all the languages have their own script generally languages are written from left to right however kashmiri sindhi and urdu are written from right to left okay these scripts are very similar to one another okay kashmiri sindhi and urdu you have to underline this line also next is dresses the people of india wear different dresses each region of india has its own dress okay the women of kashmir and punjab the women of kashmir on punjab wear salwar kameez in most parts of the country sari is very popular however the way it is worn may differ from region to region okay you can see different styles of wearing sari in different regions right in gujarat women put one end of the sari on the right shoulder instead of the left a ghagra is a thick petticoat having many folds it's common in rajasthan gujarat and madhya pradesh the dupatta or chundari is also common in the North West India, in the North Eastern hilly states, जो हमारे North East के hilly states हैं, a long skirt is 
more common among women in cities all over the country women and girls like to wear churidar pajama and kurta in kashmir men wear salwar kameez men wear salwar kameez type dresses lungi is worn in many parts of the country dhoti is also popular in some parts you can see in the pic also different styles of wearing dhoti here also okay similarly in some parts turbans are worn while in other parts people prefer to wear caps the six wear turbans or pakris of different colors the shape of turbans vary from place to place sab jagah ek jaisi type ki turban nahi pehnte wo vary karti hai place to place clear nowadays shirts t-shirts jeans kurtas pajamas and trousers are becoming more common it's more common in the cities so this is all about dresses so children you have to keep in mind all these things regarding dresses dances dances india has a long tradition of dances okay there are two main types of dances folk and classical dances folk and tribal dances are generally performed in groups okay folk and classical are two types of dances and music in our country Indian folk and tribal dances are simple group dances that are performed to express joy. Okay, घर में कोई फंक्शन होता है विडिंग होता है बर्थडे होता है तो उसपे हम कौन सा डांस करते हैं हमारे जो फोक डांसेस होते हैं ओके एंड जैसे भांगड़ा है घूमर राजस्थान में है बिहू असम में है गरबा गुजरात में लावनी महाराष्ट्र ये सब जो हमारे डांसेस हैं ये ट्राइबल डांसेस हैं या इनको फोक डांसेस भी बोलते हैं सो इट्स क्लियर सम फोक डांसेस हैव बिकम वेरी पॉपुलर दीज इंक्लूड्स द एनर्जेटिक भांगड़ा ऑफ पंजाब घूमर ऑफ राजस्थान राजगरबा ऑफ गुजरात अवनी ऑफ महाराष्ट्र एंड द बिहू ऑफ असम द ट्राइबल डांसेस ऑफ द नागाज मीजो संथालाज भील्स एंड गोन्स आर वेरी कलरफुल द क्लासिकल डांसेज ऑफ इंडिया हैव बिकम फेमस थ्रू आउट द वर्ड पूरे वर्ड में क्लासिकल डांस जो है वो फेमस है ओके द क्लासिकल डांस बिगिन एज अ फॉर्म ऑफ वर्शिप इन द टेम्पल्स ओके लेटर ऑन दीज डांसेज वर ऑल्सो परफॉर्म फॉर किंग्स एंड रूलर्स मोर्स ऑफ द स्टेट इन इंडिया हैव देयर टिपिकल क्लासिकल डांस फॉर्म ओके लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट हेयर यू कैन सी कथकली इज वन ऑफ सच डांस दिस डांस डेवलप इन केरला भरतनाट्यम इज अ क्लासिकल डांस ऑफ तमिलनाडु इट इज अ डिफिकल्ट डांस फॉर्म द क्लासिकल डांस ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश इज कुचिपुड़ी यू हैव टू अंडरलाइन दिस ऑल्सो द कुचिपुड़ी डांसर्स जनरली प्रेजेंट स्टोरीज फ्रॉम रामायण एंड महाभारत देर फोर द कुचिपुड़ी बिकम्स अ डांस ड्रामा ओके तो ये महाभारत एंड रामायण की स्टोरीज को जो है प्रेजेंट करते हैं ओके okay? कौन सा डांस प्रेजेंट करता है सॉरी कुचिपुड़ी ओके सिमिलरली द उड़ीसी डांस ऑफ उड़ीसा इज ऑल्सो अ डांस ड्रामा द क्लासिकल डांस ऑफ मणिपुर इज नोन एज द मणिपुरी कथक इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी पॉपुलर फॉर्म ऑफ डांस ओके सो नाउ आई टेल यू अबाउट द म्यूजिक सो यू कैन सी हियर इंडिया हैज अ रिच tradition of music let me tell you about music is actually the soul of dance okay music is actually the soul of dance there are two styles of music in india the hindustani music and uh, which was developed in north india and carnatic music which developed in south india okay so here you can see Kathak is basically storytelling, whereas Kathakali is a group presentation in which good finally conquers evil. Of, ah, uh, you can see this is Kathak dance. Okay, there are musicians in the courts of ancient king. There are two main streams of classical music in India. They are known as the Karnataka school and the Hindustani school. the karnataka music is the gift of south india the hindustani music developed in north india in both cases the knowledge of music has been passed on from the gurus to disciples means unki jo padhne wale unse jo padhne wale bachche hain disciples okay so clear means followers hain followers of a teacher so clear the indian musicians have been singing with a sense of devotion 